Just tell me the wackiest, right craziest fucking story you got. We'll end, uh, we'll, we'll, one, we'll end it with like a, a crazy fucking story that'll blow people's minds. Uh, no, I can't yet because I don't know how far I can go. You yet. can go. No, this is a YouTube video, so you can go. Hey, oh, here's, here's one. You can go so fucking here's far. One. You, you know, in say in NWA, we did a lot of towns and the and the south there, and you know the the southern cops in a lot of these little towns and that. There was one town when we used to do TV in. Um, I can't even think of the name of the town now, but we had to go through smaller towns to get to it, you yeah. know, do the TV there. And the cops used to wait for, for the boys to come through it to give them tickets, you know what I mean? Right. You, it's, you, it's one of those things, you're doing 65, 55, 45, and you come near the town, it's 25, and then it goes down to 15. <laughs> Anyhow. We're in the, we go through that town and then we pick up speed and get out of town and there's Roddy Piper, me and Butch and we're drinking and, and um, this is going back in early 80s having a couple of tokes and that and um, a couple of tokes, a couple of bumps yeah and then they, no, no bumps no bumps, that was like the drug of choice back then the <laughs> yeah, cocaine and, and, and that t I heard and some Charlotte, crazy cocaine stories yeah, wrestling. I can tell you <laughs> some too but I don't want to touch Tell because people are still alive. Okay. Anyhow, there's well, um, just use pseudonym names. Uh, anyhow, um, we get out. We get on the road there. We just get out out about uh, twenty minutes away, and a guy had been following us. We didn't know, and now we've put some speed up and that, and we get pulled over. Yeah, and the fucking um, the cop was a real southern redneck cop and that. Blah blah blah. He says uh, he's, he says I'm gonna take you in. You're caught at doing, I think it was 70. We're doing 70 and a 55 mile. He says, and he said, he took the driver. He said, follow me. He says, one of you is coming. He put one of us in the police car and one of us had, it was Roddy Piper driving. And we and we um, take us back to the little town and he took us back to the courthouse. On the way back to the courthouse, he called the judge. The judge gets up. And that was the time we get there, we're waiting outside. The judge's home is next door to the little courthouse. <laughs> and it's one of these little towns, you yeah. blink as you go through it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You blink as you go through it. And um, we, we wait for him. He comes across the, from his home to the courtroom in a dressing gown and slippers. Let's us in and we go, we sit in front of the bench and that, and blah, blah, blah. And he finds Roddy right there and then so much and if you don't and if you don't pay it then they take your license so they hold your license there till you till you pay it and um and and you get your license back anyhow i don't know what happened whether he took the license but we scraped up between the three of us the the fine i think or he took his license anyhow the hammer goes down the fine to pay, we, we go to leave. We go outside. Now, he's sitting at a table like this, right? At a bench like that. And about for those those things there is the window where you've got your other uh, monitors there, maybe closer, half the distance. And he's sitting here. He's sitting at his desk about here. And there's the monitors there. We come around to that window there, and Roddy gets up and pisses pisses all over the window. <laughs> he turned the judge. around, he could turn like just like that, and he could see the piss hitting the window. <laughs> and that, and I I was freaking out. And Roddy, they was, he didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And he was pissing. Just, I can imagine that if he just turned around and saw it, he come out, we would have been locked up that night. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking yeah, that's, insane. That's, uh, yeah. Wow. All right, dude. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for the stories, Luke. That yeah, was awesome. That's only a mild man. one, but there's a lot of other. I want to get some really good ones. Oh, well, here's, a, here's one. Then we we're up in we we're up in Bangkok or Singapore. Yeah, in Boogie Street. You know, you sit down. Boogie Street's a market street during the day, and at night it's Market Street. People walking up and down, and there's market and, and restaurants. You know, with little restaurants. At night, the streets closed off. It's notorious in the world. Yeah. This and all the hookers and everybody else there, uh, as on Boogie Street, right? Mm -hmm. 
There's little tables. Guys don't own restaurants and that, but they put a little table out with four chairs. One guy might put one table out or two tables out, and that's how he makes a living. He brings your menus from about four or five restaurants around. So you you sit at his table and you order booze. He'll go and get it off someplace, <laughs> and that and he's got all the menus. You choose where or what menu, and you sit at his table. It's like he Uber runs eats. those restaurant. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He runs the restaurant, brings the menus over there. Now he brings the menu with all the girls on it yeah and there's all the trinkets too on one you know what i mean and the live shows the dog shows the donkey shows and all that and he brings the menu over and and he and uh, we're looking through the the uh, f the girls and that and um the and menu, of, is, menu, the menu of, girls? of girls yeah and butch points at one there she says oh, that she don't look too bad that you know we were living over there for a hundred dollars hundred dollars a week we were living like kings hundred dollars a week where was it singapore singapore yeah, yeah. As, uh this was this was 1969 i think and that 70 69 and that and was what kind of I, girls what kind of girls were on that menu or she males and males and f females <laughs> and everything oh, and that shit. we were staying we were we, Damn. We were, we were living at have an apartment overlooking the harbour because Singapore is a gateway to the east. All the container ships come in there. Anyhow, we were smoking this weed, and my partner had never smoked a Thai stick before. And that, and this is a Thai stick. Thai stick. Okay. Thai stick is. You squeeze the buds of the juice strips out Sounds of it. Sounds heavy. And that, oh yeah. You hallucinate on it. We're Ooh. sitting in the apartments, and that, and there's all ranch sliders, and there's a balcony you're overlooking the harbour, and all the container trips, container ships are there, and the lights are flashing on them, and that, and Butch thinks there's a war going on out there with all the <laughs> lights flashing. We've got the big, imp you know, like you see in movies, the big wooden fans, the props are about, you know, this wide, the big yeah. the wooden, they're like that, they're that, that wide, and they go like that, and it's go. He's thinking there's helicopters coming in on us and everything. <laughs> He's freaking out. You know, just telling you how we were on the, the first time we smoked Thai stick over there. That's we, were we, were, we were living on $3 worth of stuff a week. Oh, and that's then crazy. Eating, all our washing and food was cooked for us. Our washing was done every night. The clothes you take off, the housekeeper would come in early. She'd, by the time we got up, all our clothes had been washed, what we wore the day before. We were living the life. Like you know kings I mean? over there. Wow. Getting your hair, going in for a mass, for, to get your hair shampooed and that and hair done. You sit in a chair. The woman would massage your feet and clean your feet and massage your feet and trim your nails and all that. And then massage your head and, and you know, shampoo, massage your head and your hands and trim your nails and that. And, and um, you'd be high as a kite. <laughs> and you know how much I'd pay for that? $3. Holy God shit. Damn. Yeah, this was unreal. And all anyhow, the, sh all anyhow, the she males you could ask for. Anyhow, we're, Butch points out this one on this menu in Boogie Street. And he says, that's her over there. And that, so we have a few drinks to that. We go over there and uh, we take we take these two girls home, right? Mm -hmm. Back to the apartment. Yeah. Uh, Butcher's wife doesn't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we go, we're up, we're up in the apartment, we're up in the apartment. All of a sudden, I hear a scream and Butch says, fuck, I've got a handful of fucking rocks. Oh no, it was a, it it was a guy. He's got a, you know, <laughs> oh, beautiful tits, beautiful tits, everything. And I says, fuck it, turn her around and fuck her. She's got big tits. <laughs> yes. What did he do? Way. Did he do it? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's unbelievable. That's yeah. insane. You've lived yeah. one hell of a life. You know, they, 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 that, was, that was in Singapore. Bangkok was... You've heard about Bangkok, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's just like uh, the hangover. It's crazy movie. over there, yeah. Yeah, that's a different live show. I watched the, I've seen donkey shows and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> really? Where, where, where the girl comes out and that with the, with <clears> the girl and she can't get satisfied. Then the diet guy comes out and then she can't get satisfied. Then they bring the donkey in the harness. Oh, my you God. Know, and it's got a little, and it's got a rubber band and like a little tube around its 
John Thomas. So it can't go. So, so John it can't go, Thomas. So it can't go all the way in you. You know what I mean? Oh you know, my God! There's a long, and that, and, and there's there's a harness. The donkey's in a harness. You know what I mean? And she's she's in the, like this, and they lower the donkey down. Oh my yeah, God! Like Holy insane. shit! <laughs> Because it gets wild There's in other countries. Oh, <laughs> so, so, don't forget, I'm talking about, I'm talking about in the '60s. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, anything 60s, probably yeah. went back then. You know, the girls from New Zealand, the drag queens used to, from the New Zealand used to go over to Singapore and or you know Australia, but Singapore, and they get the cut and tuck done there. You know, cut and tuck. That mm -hmm. was done over there years ago. The surgeons and that, and get it. You know, get yeah. all the. The, the t implants and all that sort of yeah. stuff. You know, the ones that work in Australia and New Zealand. When I was, now, I don't know if this is true or not, but can you, is it true what you used to tell me at the gym about the sheep? Sheep. Were you joking with me about the woolly that, girls? The woolly girls, that's the woolly girls. What is that? Say, what if I'm going to say, <laughs> sheep's pussy is the closest to a woman's. <laughs> the, they call them woolly girls? Yeah, the woolly girls. <laughs> <laughs> Who, the shaggers. farmers say yeah, that? We, we were called as a bushwhack sheep herders. We were called the sheep shaggers. The <laughs> sheep shaggers. <laughs> so is, is it true? It's, I don't know. I haven't shagged one. Oh, I thought you did. You talk, <laughs> I, I <laughs> believed you. No. Because you used no. to say, like, the tongues are green. I'm sure sure early yeah, somebody yeah, does yeah, it. Tongues are green. That's a, yeah, you got to get them in the morning early to kiss them before their tongues get green from grazing. <laughs> That's, That's what we used sick. to tell all the people, you know, when we come in here, when we come over this side of the world, the people in the front seat will be driving us, and they say, what language do you talk? They they couldn't understand me and Butch, because we'd talk so fast yeah. in English. Yeah.